Hello, my name is Deanne Call. I teach mathematics here at Mountain Creek Middle School. I teach math seven, math eight, and secondary math one. I have a statistics degree from BYU and a master's degree in teaching and education from Utah State University. I love to spend time with my children, stepchildren, and especially my grandchildren. I have six little girls and one little boy, and they are just a delight. I also love to cook and bake and work in the yard and garden whenever I get a chance and when it's good weather. I actually love new challenges. I built a retaining wall in my yard this summer. And I've been teaching for 20 plus years, mostly because I love the students. I love to teach. I love to see them learn. I love to help them realize that even though math may never be their favorite, favorite subject, that they are capable and able to learn what they want to learn and what they need to learn in order to get what they want in life to be where they want to be. And just to realize that they are intelligent, amazing young people. I, uh, in my classes, we do activities and problems around whatever concepts we're trying to learn at the time. I try to connect those to something that's realistic, not just learn a rule in math, but to actually be able to apply that to a situation. We have lots and lots of practice. If I knew how to teach math without people having to practice, I would do that. But math does take practice. The grades are based on a combination of how the student does on their practice and on their final assessment, which they can retake as many times as they would like. It's called proficiency-based grading. And in that, it means that um, we look at, are they proficient? Are they able to work with that concept? And as I said, they can retake assessments at any time. They just need to arrange with me, show me they've been practicing, and I can arrange a time to help them to redo those tests or proficiencies to see if they can raise their grade up that way. Uh, there will not be homework per se, except for on Fridays there will be an at-home activity. Now I am going to be available Friday in the mornings if, if the, your student would like to come in and work with me if they want to retake something or redo a practice or just get extra help. I would then count that as they're doing the at-home activity, whether it was a, that same activity with me or a different activity. In the afternoons, I would also be available to work online with your student if they are having troubles in anything at all for the class. As I said, the grade is based on proficiency, meaning did they, the, did they get to a four? Did they get to a three? Did they get to a two on that concept? And that will be how their grade is determined. I am available by email, it's probably the best, or phone messages work as well. And um, I will be returning those messages as I get them during school hours. On Canvas, if you go to the home page on the course, there will be um, a link that will show you the modules that are week by week, exactly what we're doing, what's graded, and what's non-graded practice. Anything that's not graded in the class, yes, I would like them to do it. No, they don't have to do it as it is non-graded practice. But if, if your student is struggling, those non-graded practice assignments, videos, whatever they may be, will be very helpful to help them to know what um, they need to do. I would be happy to answer any questions at any time, so just let me know. Thank you.